Hey, Robert Downey Jr. Hello? Mr. Downey Jr. Junior. Junior. Hello? Did you get it? Robert, I got it. Totally got it. Totally got it. Sweet. It's his voicemail, but I got it. Hey, Robert Downey Jr. Bob? Robert? Robert Downey BJ, right? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, we got this sketch idea we think you'd be perfect for. We've had several different ideas, and I talked over a couple with Joss. We've been Joss. talking to Joss Whedon. We're talking with Joss. I am calling you on behalf of our team of filmmakers that YouTube channel permits us to... So anyway, we got this sketch idea. It's about this um, tiny Asian man who has a faux hawk and an eye patch. So immediately thought of you. One of the ideas that Joss liked so much that, that we pitched was the uh, it's, it's Iron Man haiku break. We have many subscribers for you, sir. And we should... Um... We call him... Um, Wingor. Wingor. We, his name's Wingor. So the Iron Man haiku break, so you would be in your Iron Man uh, costume. Helmet is optional, sort of a, like, I, by Iron Man were a poet, la poet laureate kind of deal. You, you would give a uh, little haiku breaks as, as Iron Man. Your biggest competition in the film world is probably Russell Crowe, and he just did a movie called Noah's Ark. Noah, Noah. Noah. Wingor, the thing is, he's like a superhero, but I know you're like, oh, superheroes, I've done that. But he's not a normal superhero. Like, so robot wings pop out of his out of his back, but they're razor wings, so now he can fly. He cuts people while he flies. You would need to bring your own costume. Eastwood brought his own costume for, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly, so I figure, you know, maybe a little WD-40. Uh, the face mask might start getting a little... Imagine there's a time submarine. It's people of Noah's day. They escape the drowning. Fires coming up instead of water. Meteors coming down. Evil overlords rain it down onto the cavemen. I just saw something. What? Do you think he knows I'm still using the iPhone 4? Don't tell him that. He's from Hollywood. They don't use, they don't use the Did iPhone 4 anymore. Did he hear you when you were talking just now? <laughs> I don't know if you heard my joke about the iPhone 4 or not. We all got the fives around. Uh, six. We got six. I think we should do the haiku. What? Just give me one, like, one of the examples. MVP. I am an Iron Man, not, um, but I'm not iron. And be, behold my um, squeak, squeaky face mask. Is it funny? It's kind of dark, dark comedy. Right. Yeah, because they're cavemen. They're like, and then they like. Here's where you can separate yourself out from Russell Crowe. I just think of this off the top of my head. Great idea. What if you played all the parts? So you're Wingor, but you're also like the bad guys. He chops down the robots that look kind of like Batman because they got the robot gun things that just pop right out of their head. Tell them about the unicorn. The the unicorn. unicorn. Yeah, we got this great idea with the unicorn. Basically, the horn would act as a pivot point. It would be right on your spinal column. It looked like you were spinning on the unicorn. Horn. Probably have space animals. We could be space chickens, it could be normal chickens, yeah. whatever kind of chickens we want them to be. Chicken tenders, like chicken nuggets. Like, um... No! See if you're gonna compete with with Russell Crowe. Chicken he wings? Was, no, he was a vegetarian, so if he's... Oh. Robert Downey Jr. We don't even know if he eats meat or not. You don't hurt, you don't kill him because we're not like that. <laughs> but, it's, but the funny part comes in whenever you actually do it like to the police yeah. and some firemen. And we try to say more than we're actually saying. Or we're saying less than we think we are. Or we're saying a lot more than other people say that we are saying. You answer that. That's the thing. Maybe the chickens are talking chickens. Talking future chickens? They're actually not talking future chickens. They're talking caveman chickens, caveman chickens in the future yeah. on fire. See, that's funny right there. <laughs> They've escaped a flood, yeah. and now they're on fire. He's got to love this idea. So there, there's the idea. I'll tell you what, like, yeah, give us a call back. Well, whenever you got a spare second or whatever, love to hear from you. So the, Chris has some real roosters and real yeah. chickens outside. Yeah. If you want to hold a chicken in your Iron Man costume, he's fine with that. They're not planning on eating them anytime soon. I think maybe they're for eggs. I don't know. We've developed a plan to defeat Russell Crowe. There's no money. But uh, you can use it for your reel. I'm assuming you've heard of us because we have well over 7,000 subscribers. Food for thought. I appreciate your time. Hello? Hello? I just cut me off. All right, RDJ. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Done pretty well. I think it was good. I think that was awesome. You never cut you off either. I got cut off. My mind stopped. Like, boop. Mine just sound like a dial tone. Where'd you, get, where'd you get the numbers, by the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where'd you get them at? Eyes. Internet. You got them off the internet? Yeah.